Why, hello there. So last time I started some DLC, and now I'm gonna get a move on in it. Okay, I'm on top of the dome thing. Evidently. Even though there's a dome thing over there. So. I mean, let's go through this door, I guess. I want to search around a little bit. So, say a sarsaparilla. Give me some of that. Excellent. I want the blue star caps is what I'm doing that for. Want me some blue stars. What are these markings? Big mountain crates. Bucket. Bam. Bam ba lam. Foot locker. Nope, don't need that. Okay, well I guess I can go in the door now. Door to the sink. <laughs> I've always wanted to be inside the sink. It's like my favorite place ever. Woo! Electron charge back. Cool beans, dude. Reloading bench. Book shoot. I don't actually know what level I am, so I'm probably really un under level for this. Yeah, I'm only level 8, but I mean, whatever. Dude, I can do it. I'm really good. Sync auto dock. Personality files. Damage are missing. Insert back up. Restore files. Okay. Oh, that suck if they just meant that for like... For the sake of like, oh, you won't be able to lockpick this because you're not going to have enough. Take pencils. Take your stupid pencils. Talk to biological... What is it? Pouring it in the gross. Back up hall tape. I don't know. I forget I have hall tapes. Mentats flower. All this. I don't know what this room is for. It's probably great though. Think tank. Big mountain. Yes, take all. I'll drink them as well. Eh. Don't need those. Think tank. Boom. Oh, jazzy music. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A strange feeling of pacifism comes over here. You cannot, you find you cannot draw your weapon for some reason. Oh, goody. That's funny. I hope nobody tries to like, murder me while I'm here. There are people. Oh, no, they're just... Droid people. I thought I heard the pacification fields kick in. All right, shh. nobody move. I'll handle this. <laughs> Jesus, guys. Reward of intruder. You are in the presence of a mighty <laughs> think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of we. Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you so <laughs> professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, eight? Son of a mother. Oh, Doctor O, was it? Likely story. <laughs> o couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Mm. Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. A is sound waves. That's his specialty. <laughs> you always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you Octopus. Doctor Octopus. Now, now, great. Now I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? I have no idea. I don't know why is it before the surgery on? Let's do that. Did, did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. <laughs> it's a lobotomite. Here, in the dome. Lobotomite. Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Check on lobotomites. Get the spray before it excretes all over everything. <laughs> Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to. This envelope once containing it. <laughs> Envelope. So, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Ooh. Just look at it. The way it blinks. It's like a big, <laughs> hairless teddy bear. That's, that's how I've always I thought of myself. I know what it is, Dollar. I want to know bear. why it's down here. With its, its limbs all over everything. <laughs> and are those 
penises I see wriggling on its feet. Disgusting. <laughs> oh my gosh. And little <laughs> toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. Little penises teddy bear toes. Are larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. <laughs> I don't recall the human penis ever being that large. Oh. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. <laughs> Look at its little nose oh with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static. These lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. Not useless. Shut up. Oh, dang it. Let's play middle finger. Look slowly with a blank expression. Hmm. Let's just go with this one. Dr. Klein, look at it. It's head movements. <laughs> the primitive jelly eye monitors. Jelly eye monitors. It's been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. Great. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. Nonsense! Wait. Lobotomites can't comprehend us! I hope my brain hasn't been extracted. That'd be so. Ace, have you been in the men's hats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. <laughs> all of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are. As usual. Of course, Dr. Lobotomite. Do you understand me? Can you speak? Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. He's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? <laughs> like I doesn't pay attention. Our He's just like, have turned against I us. don't care. <laughs> In playing God, we created a monster. <laughs> Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled the skin envelope with awareness. Skin a teddy bear with new stuffing. <laughs> Wait. If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us. Then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. Oh goody. Last. A chance to. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. It can only be... Uh, if it isn't it is my old colleagues, colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain. Big fools. Oh, oh snap. It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone. A zone that is to you. <laughs> Even now, my deadly robo scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine. It's gonna control Even all the, the science. Even the sealed in the Big Mountain research centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. <laughs> Uh, goodbye. Laser scorpions. Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten <laughs> level research methodology. Nice, nice. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, mm. where no brain has ever entered. Nor ever returned. <laughs> well, figures I wouldn't ever return. Mobius and the technologies that could save us, they are out of our reach. Uh. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. I know, man, right? Number eight, jeez. Fix your stuff. What? Ask the lobotomite for help. Eight, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm not gonna help you guys. I might respond to Dr. Klein that it 
is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. <laughs> but what of its brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. <laughs> and for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. How the frick am I able to so talk to them if I don't have a brain? Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. <laughs> if we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it should be favorably disposed to us. I mean, I just... I just... We removed your brain. Yes. Wow. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Douchebags! Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Great. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola I, I, I figured it was Nikola if you said Tesla. Brainless brick. Brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled under your system. Can't make it. Just 25% reduction. And shock from bodily damage. Cool. Yeah, hey, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the. what? The, um. Uh, the Tesla <laughs> coils in its head! In its head! It's unfortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Grr. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. <laughs> Reminds me You're of still my days back, in huh? American High. And Richie Marcus. Rich Marcus. Frickin' Richie Marcus. Uh, how much sorry do you do on me? I feel like I'm about to put together a jigsaw puzzle. Why am I going, bro? <laughs> like some kid. Ooh. That is my responsibility. Yeah, you stupid kid. Although, in truth, the autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious. Mm -hmm. Almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, <laughs> the organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Wow. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as oh, well. Oh, good. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. <laughs> oh my god. First was the heart. Wow. Oh, it was perfect. The scars in your chest. Where they? <laughs> Poison filters in your artificial blood pump regular bleeding, healing, allowing all healing items comes. Function uh, robots are now confused by you. Fifty percent less likely to score crit. Awesome. Oh wait, I mean second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. spine. Great spine. I can no longer be crippled in strength. Damage for them increased by plus one. Spine. Cool. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Yeah, totally, Look man. Look at me, so with true. my lumbar and thoracic curvature. <laughs> Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. You bunch of cowards. To get my brain hard and spine. To be correct, you should say... The auto dock took out your oh, brain. Oh yeah, the auto dock. It did all the heavy lifting. <laughs> it has never worked so hard before. It was unusual. There we go. It worked so hard on your surgery. It destroyed his own memory. How odd. What? I bet your brain remembers what happened. Typical. That auto dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, These the guys can talk for itself. hours, dude, I swear. I was gonna, like, stop the episode sense. once they friggin' been done talking. Jeez. Pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. Uh-oh. <laughs> if so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Whoosh! That is the sound of flushing. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> the Fisher of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery <laughs> talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but of course. 
We need your help. Typical. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. Dun dun dun. We want you to stop him. Somehow. With science. With science. Oh my gosh. I don't have any science, though. No perks. Science levels. Is that something about needing technology to stop? Yes. It is our only chance. A desperate plan that came to us after Mobius' first broadcast. Maybe. Just maybe. If we reclaim these buried technologies, we can put an end to Mobius and the horrors spawning from the Forbidden Zone. Ah, oh, they're mating over there. That's crazy. Dang it. My intelligence isn't high enough. Why is this coming back to bite me? <laughs> Why the frick? It always uses the things that I don't use. Why me? Can't you do it? Uh, I'll do it. Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. That still sounds good, dude. Oh, great. Oh, and I've used my it. robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... <laughs> Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um... Yeah, it's a boss. They, well, move sometimes. Or get buried. Or blow up. <laughs> yeah, it's such a hard spirit. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold up. hard technology, however. Cool. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. <laughs> and even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. <laughs> that is still good for us. Yay. <laughs> the technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic, cardiac dampening, sneaky stealth suit. A mm. suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. You guys talk for days. And eight sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. Able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. Sweet! It also gives a great biogel massage. <laughs> there! We have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal uh, by our standards. Hundreds of years. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. Of course not. Our intentions exactly. The important thing is you rush quickly through this task so as not to waste our time. Of course, I wouldn't want to do that. Do not get curious, or you will end up like the cat of Schrödinger. Of course. We feared you would be tempted to explore Big Mountain Crater and examine the many amazing non-mandatory research labs that lie off your designated path. The many such optional <laughs> explorations are discouraged. Work hurriedly as if you have blinders on. And leave curiosities and items of interest alone. Totally not going to. So many sciences and developments. Pass them by. Let impatience and the desire to simply finish, to end it all quickly and carelessly guide you. <laughs> Sounds good. Right you are, Ace. In our test results, we'll make a note about how quickly you ran our maze. Uh, experiment. Nobel. Challenge. <laughs> after all, there will be plenty of time afterwards to partake of the experiments once our bidding is done. There we go. Ah, that is correct. You must walk <laughs> on your many, many penis feet. <laughs> Much slower than our advanced hovering robotical frames. Of course. The little right. teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and rectly, directly, 
<laughs> directly, directly. Pylons, what pylons? The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. Of course. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts, and the proximity warning shall be your warning. <laughs> you are too close. Of course. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible Terrible. memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied awesome. to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. But the That's nerve good. degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. There we go. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously, by your deadened perceptions. Hmm. Oh. Uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? Yes. If I may intersect for a moment. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. <laughs> Processors can't ignore you both at the same time. Oh, come on. Well, you can try. You know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? <laughs> Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? Yay. What is this? A high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. <laughs> I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module! <laughs> Why don't you just fix it, dude? It is truly the end of all intelligence when a lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses! Bam. So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. Mm. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X8. Just as X8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days. The sadness of my youth. My youth lost. <laughs> oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletale and all the kids you hated. You little teacher's pet brown hound. Ooh. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? <laughs> Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Uh, oh my god! Warmed up. Mmm, I love sonjaculating. Ding! Turkey's done. Oh my god! You don't give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Oh my gosh. Alright. All antibacterial fresh. Yay. Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminate codes view from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your hands. Awesome. What did it say? Spit lead? What, like pencils? Yes, shoot pencils. Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun! Guns kill! Leave big open holes in you that are like sores, but worse! Yeah. 
Lover. Dr. Eight is correct. We already have given the teddy bear a lethal sonic death ray. <laughs> with his sonic ejaculate and sterilized by my soft wing. <laughs> the teddy bear gun would be the equivalent of following a glass of hemlock with an abraxo chaser. Yeah. Delicious and redundantly deadly. If you're going to bring the Socratic method into it, fine. Give the Lobato bear a combustion gun. Burroughs, don't you have something like that? Yay. Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns? Wait, I said that already. Yes, I have the Cyberdog gun. Awesome. With the little Cyber floppy dog. metal ears and the curious nose sensor. Here. Fine. Done. That gun makes me uncomfortable anyway. Always worried it's going to hump my chassis. Anything else, Lobotomite? Hope that'll be it. Oh, that'll be all. Sweet. There we go. Fine, so, yes. Get these things yeah, first. Perfect. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. Let's just go. This technological wonders and see how much damage I can do. Mm. Well, good. What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes. Thank you. Yes, thank me. Wait, is it leaving? But, Dr. Klein, the lobotomite will need rest, recuperation. Things like that. Nah, I'm good. I volunteer my chambers, so it might be. Dala, you're freaking weird, man. My monitor radar is slowly scanning its form to collect sensitive data. No, Creeper. that would put it too close to us. It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse, let other lobotomites in. <laughs> my God. Could you give it Mobius's old room? This where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. <laughs> See what I did there? Wet literal. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> we'll have to move that couch out of there. Been putting that off too long. <laughs> These guys, oh my gosh. Eight says, let the lobotomite take the Sync Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program Butler can walk the lobotomite, feed it, barter with it for us. Oh, good. It would also prevent it from going to Higgs Village and taking up residence there with my teddy bears. And it would be nice to have it so close. Mm. Your logic combined with my desire to keep the think tank lobotomite free has swayed me. Here, I present the Sync Central Intelligence. Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink. Plug it in and make sure the chip is clean or it could skip. Yeah. Then make whatever crude biologic demands you need of the sink. It will cater to most of your hormonal whims. <laughs> oh, good. I cannot dispute your logic. Do we have objects to activate the chip's exchange yes. routines? Oh, episode I've ever recorded. What? Like, stuff? Things? Yes, things. I don't know. Might be some old Nuka Cola or Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps lying around. It's not currency per se. Still, might be enough to trade the thing's trade routines. Mobius put that test line for caps in the code as a debug command, I think. Mm. I don't believe that was Mobius's reason. His wild speculation concerning post-Holocaust economic systems was quite extensive, and of high decibel. Enough! Surrender these so-called bottle caps, Nuka and Sunset alike. In their role as things, they will serve as adequate test subjects. Great. All right, all right, here, cap away. Hope that stupid chip chokes on them. Oh, snap. 250 bottle caps, nice. So just plug it into the room and everything. Alright, so Yes. <laughs> yes. You may need to wiggle it in a bit, but don't force it. We can't recode them if you break it. There is no more we can do to aid you, and our patience levels are depleted. Mine now too. go. 
Rest in the sink if you must, but leave us to our research. Of course. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Of course! Go <laughs> down your science stations! Go! I am surrounded by children. You definitely are. Bam! I'm gonna level up. <laughs> Let's do science, just because this is all science stuff. And two more. Uh, don't know what I have to do. Two more with venerine. Food medicine repair. Science sneak. Let's just do more science, I guess. Boom. Done. Nice. Oh, they're all sitting here. Goodbye, guys! I love you! You're my friends! Okay, well, I'm going to pause it here, though, so... I doubt anybody's watched this far, but... <laughs> See you in the next episode. Maybe I'll get something done.